Hello everybody and welcome to the Q&A video. And as I'm recording this, I currently only have 199 subs, not at 200 yet. But let's hope that will change. But yeah, I have a piece of paper here full of questions from all of you guys. From friends, YouTube friends, anyone I ask, really. Because I wanted to get at least uh, 10 messages, or not messages, uh, questions, but whatever, let's get started. Are you a brony from Gaming with the Wogs? Nope, but I had like two friends who were bronies and they were awesome, so whatever works for you, man. Just as long as you don't get weird about it, okay? If you can go back in time and prevent any game from ever existing, including its annoying fan base, what game would it be from Alien Pet 13? I'm not usually annoyed by fan bases, just stuff like FNAF or uh, Undertale, I'm not usually annoyed by. Really, the only one I can really think of off the top of my head is One Punch Man that really annoys me because they pit. It's like, oh, One Punch Man can beat your favorite character or your favorite character. It's like, shut up, please, stop it. But I'm gonna have to go with a personal pick. As a big Crash Bandicoot fan, uh, I'm gonna go with Crash Boom Bang because I like Crash Bash. I like party games. I thought I'd get a lot of fun from Crash Boom Bang. All I got was disappointment, tears, and a terrible game. Don't play that game. It's terrible. Wish it never existed. What got you into making a YouTube channel from Jazz Umbre? Hope I said your last name right. I saw other people do it. Uh, I was about maybe 16 or 17, so three, year, three or four years ago, um, when I was getting into PC gaming, playing stuff like Team TF2 and Hyper Wheels, and I saw other people playing games, and I'm like, hey, I can do that. So I did it. And my first whole bunch of videos sucked. A lot of my old videos sucked. Don't watch them. But I did it because it looked like fun, and I still do it because it's fun. And I like to entertain you guys. What microphone do you use? From Mouse Clicker, th Mouse Clicker 3000. I use a soft microphone in my webcam, which is a Logitech C270. Sounds good. I might get a new one sometime soon, but until then, this still works for me, and it works just fine. Webcam also has nice quality, too, so. This is a weird one. Who would win, Laura Croft or Nathan, J Nathan Drake, from my friend Eric? If we're talking about a full-on fight, Laura Croft. She's got more experience fighting a whole bunch of really powerful enemies. If we're talking about games, Nathan Drake. Uncharted is way better than Dermander. I like Dermander, but Uncharted is freaking fantastic. Who was your first crush? From my friend Ryan. I think it was this middle school or so, and um, it was uh, Dodgeball. And there was this one girl who was cute, and I'm like, I don't want to hit her with this Dodgeball. What am I feeling? Because I felt all fuzzy and stuff, and as I grow, I learned that I had a crush on her. Never really talked to her, just thought she was cute. So, does that count? If, if not, then my, my first crush was actually a year ago. Her name was Jessie Diaz. She's a very cute, uh, pretty girl gamer who... She's nice, so... How are you planning on moving forward? Going to new things or expanding on current things? From Pascaloth. Um, I'm planning on expanding my uh, horizon just a bit. I'm mostly going to be doing the same kind of things. Mostly going to be doing anime videos, top tens, uh, gameplays, and all that. I might be playing, branching out my uh, uh, gameplay a bit into a whole bunch of new games that are other people have played a lot. I haven't played much, so. But I'm going to do a mix of both, really. I'm going to do new stuff, and I'm going to continue to do the stuff I'm doing now. So it's not going to be too different. I might just have new stuff and more people to work with. And. Same guy, another question. How do you feel about Suffer Sub? Depends. If the other person deserves a subscriber, then I'll do it. Usually I just do it because I want to be nice to my subscribers, but like if they beg for a sub for sub, I don't usually feel good about doing it, so... I don't know, I don't really have too much of a strong opinion against it, but... I don't know, if it works, it works. What do you imagine your channel will be like in one or two years? Probably mostly the same. Um, I'm gonna pro I'm gonna have a lot more friends to work with. I'm gonna have better equipment, but I'm mainly gonna be doing the same thing. I'm gonna be in a new home though, so yeah, might even have a girlfriend to work with, you know, so she can join in the videos, possibly. But yeah, that's not too much different really. I'm only gonna keep on the same uh, path. What is your opinion? Oh, that was from White Cheddar, by the way. What is your opinion on people who protest slash hate violent video games from my friend Katie? They need to shut up. Um, because like, most of their arguments are just stupid. I've heard them all. Like, oh, kids shouldn't be playing violent video games. That's why they don't make them for kids. There's an ESRB rating system for a reason, guys. It's 
like, oh, my kids are playing these games. Well, they got them somehow. And that means you're not watching them enough. Or you're just not raising them well enough, okay? So you need to watch them more. It's your job, guys. Don't blame the games for your failing at parenthood. And all that. And just like, I mean... And then there are the people who actually say that adults like myself can be influenced by this kind of stuff. And I'm like, I'm not mentally challenged. I know that it's not right to kill the person. Seriously. In fact, actually, there are many people who are calmed down by violent video games. So that way they don't kill people. It's kind of like smoking. It relieves stress. So, shut up. Seriously, let us have fun. Goddamn assholes. And that's it for my Q&A, guys. I'd like to thank every single one of you that asked a question, and every single one of you that subscribed or watching this video. All 201 of you now, because... Now, if it looks like I changed scenery or something like that, it's because I'm recording this on a completely different day and different time, so is that. But I was waiting for their questions, didn't get any, so whatever. But like I said, I want to thank every single one of you. You're all wonderful. I appreciate everything you guys have done. Everyone I've worked with, everyone who supported me, everyone who said I can do all this kind of stuff, everyone who's commented or liked one of my videos. All you guys are just awesome, seriously. I want you guys to do me a giant favor and smile every day. Be happy every day. Find something to be happy about every single day. Seriously, it's a wonderful feeling. And if you guys have any other questions that were not answered at all, please ask them in the comments below and I will make sure to answer as many of them as I possibly can. Maybe questions like how do you choose what games you play, um, I don't know, I can't really think of anything off the top of my head right now, it's stuff like that. Stuff that was not um, asked in the video. And also, be prepared for March, which is going to be top 10 months. There's going to be one top 10 every week. And they're all going to be pre-done. It's going to be my top 10 favorite bands, musical bands, my top 10 favorite movies, my top 10 favorite anime, and my top 10 favorite video games. So those will be some big lists for you guys to show you more of my personal takes and stuff. And then in March, or probably like halfway through March, or maybe the end of March, I will continue doing anime videos again. I'll bring back anime first look. I have a few, have a few anime that I'm going to do. And the very first one is going to be K, which has been held off for, at this point, three months. I watched and finished the first season, like, before the end of 2015. And I just haven't been doing... I, I, I started Bento after. And I finished Bento first. I guess I was more motivated to do the one for Bento. But anyway, I want you all, all of you guys to give yourselves pass them back. Remember to leave your comments below. And I'll see you guys next time. And here's looking forward to 2016 and maybe even getting 300 subscribers. 400, 500, I don't know. We can do it. If we believe in it. Anyway, peace out.